464. Got the field knocked down. This is my old uh, makeshift wannabe kind of plate rack that you have to reset ma manually. These plate racks are expensive. If you go buy them from MGM, or one of those companies that makes them, man, they're, I think they're like a couple thousand bucks. But I moved my Texas Star to way over there because I got a little thing I'm doing here soon and I'm gonna run the Texas Star with the shotgun. But the same people that made that Texas Star are the same place you can get this kit called The Target Man. He's on eBay. And you can buy a kit. I ended up getting this on eBay 20% off day, which is really cool. So I ended up getting a really good deal on it. I put a paint can up there. I was pissed at and I blew it up. So that's what that, all that splatter is. But anyway, they sell you these, uh, all the like the parts, uh, all these like brackets and paddles and that stuff. And it comes with all the pins and everything. And you got to supply the angle iron, that three by three angle iron, the angle iron for the legs, the deflector plate, which is half inch thick, which I'm real happy about. But so for about 400 bucks, or less than that if you get get it on a deal, um, and you know how to weld. Now when I say you know how to weld, I'll show you some of these welds, and some of you welders out there can laugh at me. I, I had my settings kind of messed up, and towards the end I got some better looking welds, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to brag on them, because <laughs> uh, TR Prepper calls those Gorilla Welds, uh, strong and ugly. So this is the this is the rack, um, and uh, I'll show you how it works. I mean, it works like any other really plate rack, but uh, you tie a string onto this so you can run it back to where you are, and you can reset it by pulling pulling this handle. So when you pull the handle, obviously, oh god, you don't want to do that with a beer. You don't want to do that with a beer sitting there. All right, let's try this again. I guess I'm about to put my beer down. So you pull the handle, all the targets reset, that goes back, and then of course as you as you shoot them. Yeah, there you go. Love that sound. So there you go. Uh, save yourself some money if you're looking to get a plate rack. Um, I've got a welding shop around the corner from me, literally in walking distance from my shop where they sell me all this stuff. The additional steel was about a hundred bucks, 120 bucks. And um, I didn't really want to do these welds because they're they're not the easiest welds to do, at least not for me. So I actually paid them to weld this to this, but I did the other welding and they charged me a hundred bucks for that and about 120 bucks for the rest of the steel. So you got 400, 120, and if you have them weld, have someone weld that for you, it costs a little more, but you could get out, you could get out for, um, you know, 600 bucks basically for a really nice plate rack that you can you know reset from the shooting position so there you go guys the target man on ebay uh, this is not a paid endorsement i bought this with my own money but uh good quality products and then the instructions are good they show you how not to screw up and put the wrong brackets in the wrong place and so on and so forth I didn't want to spend the money on DOM, which was a little bit expensive tubing, so I got a one inch and I just made some cuts in it so I could compress it and slide it in there. It works fine. I believe that's one inch pipe. So there you go. The Target Man plate rack. Six inch plates. And as you can see, I shot it some today. I'm trying to test it out. It works great. So you guys... Y'all take care and be good, and if you can't be good, be good at it. Like the Target Man plate rack. Thing's awesome. Did a little clearing here because I'm going to shoot PCC from the end of the pistol course out to some targets pretty soon.